Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the AI, the artificial intelligence, to create any of the 3D avatar, a rig 3D avatar, just by using a piece of picture, a piece of JPG or PNG picture. And you'll get a result like this. Everything will just rig properly and it is game ready for your Blender 3D animation software. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. The first step, what you need to do is just go and prepare some pictures like this. These are called JPG or PNG picture. You can just take a photo, ask your friend to help you to take a T-post photo or A-post photo. I prefer to use the A-post like this. Just one side, just create a PNG or JPG picture and even for example this picture this JPG picture is rendered from the character creator tree and it doesn't matter as long as it is a picture it is a PNG or JPG picture then you can just let the AI to create the rig 3D avatar game ready avatar based on the JPG so now I'm going to use this as example and the first step, what you need to do is just go to a website that's called Triple AI. Triple AI, triple three D dot AI slash app. All right, remember this triple three D dot AI slash app, and press enter. And you need to log in just by using your Google account. If you're not yet logged in, you have to log in first. Then, once you're already successfully logged in, here, you have to upload your picture. Click here. Just have a click. Then, choose the picture. For example, just now, I want to use this picture. I copy the folder destination location, Control C, and then I paste it here, Control V, and press Enter. Now I choose this picture, then click create. Then once you click create, just wait for a while and it is going to perform the 3D modeling performed by AI. The AI is going to do the 3D modeling for you. That's the first step. And after a few seconds, once it's done, this step you have to wait for a while again until it finish 100%. Alright, now it is done. You have to click here to expand. Alright, now have a look. The 3D models that are generated by the AI Actually, it is low resolution and it is not perfect, but if you render just from far away to let this 3D avatar to become the NPC, it is quite suitable. So now, we have to download it first. Just click the download button here. Right now, it is start downloading. It is a GLB. It is a GLB 3D model and later it is going to appear inside your download folder. Just left a few seconds. To open the download folder, you have to move your mouse cursor down here. Then right click it, click the download. Now the GLB file is here, double click to open. If you double click, it is going to open by using the Microsoft 3D Viewer. Right. So next we are going to convert it to become the FBX file so that we can rig it. To convert it become the FBX file, first you have to open the Blender. Right now, open the Blender. We are going to import the GLB into the Blender. First up click and press A to select everything and press the delete button to delete everything. 
next click file import the glb glb is here gltf glb file import from the from the download folder double click the model dot glb now once you import it click here to turn on the texture next click the z then you can see the directions you have to make sure it face the green line it face down the green line so you click and then click here to rotate it rotate in this way until it face the bottom now you can see it it is correct already next we have to change the pivot point because we we don't want the pivot point is at at the center so click minus y then click move and press control full stop drag the pivot down to the bottom until it reach the leg level like this next click control full stop again move it up to the origin like this it must be at the red line done once it's done already now you can export as fbx file click file export fbx choose the download folder the path mode choose copy and here you turn it on the file name i'm going to name this as model then click export fbx right now i already get an fbx file and this fbx file you have to rig it just by using the mizamo go to the mizamo.com then click upload character select the character file from your download folder double click the fbx file now it is uploading to mizamo and you can just use the mizamo to perform the auto rigging and give a skeleton to this 3d avatar next step click next then now we have to to map this skeleton for the first time the chin you have to plot at the chin and take the symmetry first and then take the symmetry drag the wrist the elbow now you can see it is not symmetry so you turn off the symmetry and map it again then turn on the symmetry again now it's the knee the groin put it at here then the skeleton LOD choose no finger next it is auto rigging it is an auto rigging process and just wait for a while it can take up to two minutes you have to wait for a while right once once you see this it's, it is done then click next click download download as fbx file with t post you can click download it is going to download into your download folder as well the file name will be same as just now but you can see it remarked as number one just because of in your download folder it already have have an fbx file named as model so now it is downloading it is going to rename as model one all right done it is here this is the F fbx file that 
ready, game ready. Next, in the Blender, I click File, New, General. I don't save this. And I'm going to open a fresh new 3D project in Blender. And I press A and press Delete button to delete everything. Then, import the FBX file. File, import FBX from the download folder the model1.fbx double click and have a look then turn on the texture now you can see this 3d model is game ready and it already have the skeleton click the skeleton now click here the viewport display you can just make it in front and have a test switch from the object mode to the post mode and have a look to see whether the skeleton is work or it doesn't work. Now you can see that the skeleton can work properly, really game ready. It is game ready. And then you can send it to your game and make it become an NPC if you want. Of course, this is a really low quality 3D model that created by the AI, by the triple.ai. And if you want to use it as an NPC and just render it from far away inside the scene, it is okay, it doesn't have the problem. But if you want to make it as a main avatar, it is unacceptable just because of it is really low quality. All right, it is up to you and everything are just generated by the AI. And just now we are, we are using the triple 3D.ai app to create the 3D model. And then we are using the Mizamo to perform the auto rigging. And finally, we bring it into the blender. Everything is game ready. It is ready to create the 3D animations once it already read. All right. That's all for today about my tutorials on how to, how to using the AI to create the 3D model. A 3D avatar, a rig 3D avatar by using the AI and bring it to the blender, make it become game ready 3D avatar and also you can make any 3D animations, you can render it. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful for your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!